Hi, and welcome back. We're grateful to have this chance today to talk about healing the chakras with crystals. Mm. We all know that every crystal has certain healing properties and certain recipes inside of it for um, particular needs. And so we'll talk about what crystals are best for each chakra and give you some ideas of how you might apply that in, the, in healing the chakras. And at the end, I'll share my favorite way of mixing color therapy with um, the crystals for chakra healing. The first thing as we begin when you're trying to use crystals for healing the chakra is to make sure that you pick the right crystals to support the chakra that you're trying to strengthen. Oftentimes you'll find that the colors coordinate. Yeah. Every chakra has a color that vibrates at the same level to heal that chakra. And so a lot of times, just as a general rule, if you picked a stone that corresponded to that chakra color, it would probably, probably be work. right. Mm -hmm. um, but we have a few exceptions to that, some things you may not think about. So we'll talk first about the, um, the sh crystals that we would use for each chakra. So to start with the root chakra, this is a teeny tiny smoky quartz. But the smoky quartz is great for releasing negative energy and helping you feel grounded. And so it helps also create those feelings of being safe and secure, mm. which we so often associate with the root chakra properties. And so it's really good. A smoky mm -hmm. course is really good to balance the root chakra out. The second thing is the um, sacral chakra. And I don't have a carnelian, but we'll show it to you on the screen. <laughs> a carnelian is an orange or red orange crystal and it promotes creativity, which mm -hmm. is so um, important and such a great part of the sacral chakra. It also helps you resolve prosperity issues. We know a lot of the money and yeah. financial issues reside there as well. It helps build and strengthen your relationships. And part of that important step for building great relationship is creating boundaries as well, mm -hmm. knowing when to set those boundaries with people so it helps with that it may also help women who are struggling with hormonal imbalance or any type of reproductive mm -hmm. system issues mm -hmm. all of that can be supported through carnelian the solar plexus is um, the crystal we use for that is citrine and that is kind of a yellow uh, uh, orange stone it boosts your self-esteem it helps strengthen your sense of self-worth. It can also help you with your career success um, and, and filling the confidence you need to achieve what you want to in your career. It can increase your happiness and in general, it will lift your mood. So that's one I should yeah. just wear <laughs> we as a necklace every day. Shopping. <laughs> yeah, let's go shopping. Yeah, so cit citrine is good for that. Um, for the heart chakra, we have a, a rose quartz. That's just a nice pink stone. These are very readily available. You could buy those almost anywhere. It sells crystals, but it is perfect for the heart chakra. It helps promote all those feelings of love, compassion, unconditional love. Um, kindness that we want to show to others and it also helps promote self-love yes which is really important it's important to be able to love yourself before mm -hmm. you're ready to love others the energy of the heart is self and then out in and then out in yeah. and then out so it's important to start with that intention for sure yes um, it also assists you in forgiveness so helping you forgive mm -hmm. others which is important very helpful yeah as we move up to the throat chakra, the blue lace agate helps with articulation mm -hmm. and it helps you kind of neutralize your negative thoughts or feelings or negative words that you want to say. 
Um, it has a really soothing energy to it. And it's said to be one of the most powerful throat chakra crystals. Another crystal for the throat chakra, though, is turquoise. That can be very mm -hmm. good as well. And turquoise helps give you the courage to speak your mm -hmm. truth mm -hmm. and to say what you want to say. Now we're oops, up to the third eye chakra. Uh, so we're working here now on the third eye. And amethyst is a very good crystal to help with that. It is balancing and calming to the energy. It also is a stone that assists us in concentration mm -hmm. and a lot of our intellectual pursuits. Um, so it helps us develop or strengthen our own intuition. This is one of Michelle's greatest gifts. <laughs> I must have been born around the amethyst. <laughs> She's a yeah. highly intuitive. Oh. Yeah, it's amazing. Um, and it can help you strengthen your spiritual gifts as well. Mm -hmm. So I love the amethyst. It's, um, it really helps us connect also to our divine um, gifts. The crown chakra, um, what we would recommend that for that is just a clear quartz. It will quickly clear out any problems and balance that crown chakra. I didn't realize this, but it also helps connect and balance and align all seven chakras. Oh, wow. Did that you know makes that? sense. Yeah. Uh -huh. With the clear crystal. And so um, once all of those are balanced, this can help pull them all into alignment by healing them, connecting them, mm. energizing them together. And it's also going to help connect you and fill you with divine light. Mm. So... Those are some suggestions for which crystals to use, but now let's take a look at um, how you might want to use those. Yeah. So you can use them in different ways. One of the ways is just to pick a specific crystal for a specific chakra purpose. Mm -hmm. um, so one example, did you have one? You no, to I share? just want, you know, so... I would look at this and say, this is probably a green for my, my heart chakra. Heart. Mm -hmm. So I might hold it close to my heart for a few minutes yeah. or even in my hands with my intention that it goes in my heart. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I think we discussed this before, but adding your intention to any of this work that you're doing with the crystals will really amplify your mm -hmm. results. Um, maybe if you have to speak, Maybe you have to speak in public. And remember, turquoise is a good one for speaking boldly and being able to speak your truth. You could wear a turquoise necklace or, mm -hmm. or a turquoise bracelet or have um, the other crystal in your pocket that would help support your speaking. Um, if you were going to, if you needed to create something new, we talked about the power of carnelian to help mm -hmm. with that sacral chakra. So... You could have that in your workspace or your environment to really promote creativity mm -hmm. and kind of see you through a project. Amethyst um, is a beautiful stone to have by your bedside at night. Mm -hmm. This helps with insomnia or if you're having trouble speaking, sleeping. <laughs> I'm having trouble speaking. There you go. Um, yeah. But this can help there. And can you lift up that rose quartz? Yeah. This is an awesome rose quartz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that I I have in my bedroom under my bed uh, mm. to support love in our bedroom. And um, it would be a great one for children to have as well mm -hmm. in their rooms. Uh, so you can... Just use individual crystals to support different chakra needs in different environments or, mm -hmm. or on different days for different purposes. But you can also use the crystals to balance all of the chakras at once. So mm -hmm. if I were working with Michelle and she wanted to experience this, I would have her lay on a massage table. Or if you're doing this at home, you can just lay on your bed. And just place the corresponding crystal on each chakra mm -hmm. um, and just focus on absorbing that energy and using that to clear clear the chakras. Have you ever experienced that? 
I've done it on myself. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. It's really powerful. And these clear crystal points, you can use these. These are going to amplify any of the work that you do. So it will amplify the effects of each of the crystals on your chakras. And you can put them even on the corners of the massage table or on the corners of your bed pointing into mm. um, to your body from all four corners supporting that. And the last thing I want to share with you is my favorite way to use crystals to clear the chakra. And um, this was a birthday present for me, but it's a chakra blanket. And so I can't unfold the whole thing here, but <laughs> um, it's, it's as wide as my massage table. So I spread it out on the massage table. But um, if you could feel this sewn in, in between the layers of fabric, there are crystals, little teeny tiny, little teeny wow. tiny baby so crystals that support yeah. um, the corresponding chakra. And so, mm -hmm. oh yeah, I can feel mm -hmm. some right there. Mm -hmm. um, so you can lay on this, get the benefit of the color therapy, the benefit of the crystal therapy, um, and enjoy that support for your chakras. That's amazing. <laughs> Is there any other gift. way you use them to support your chakras? <sighs> um, you know, I think it's just important. To, so, you know, when you're talking about the different properties, it, it does give you several properties, several things benefits. that it helps benefits. Yeah. And so that's where your intention really comes in. Yeah. Is that you can use, you know, you want to focus in on this this purpose for the chakra. So mm -hmm. so that's important. It's just, it's just your intention. And, and yeah. as always, your intuition and your... And your guidance um, from heaven is always, always encouraged. Yes, for sure. You may be guided to a crystal that would help heal the cause of the problem. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not really um, healing that particular chakra, but wherever the, the problem originated. So trust that yeah, also. Trust it. Well, um, thank you for joining us today. I hope this helps give you some quick ideas of how to use the crystals to help sh heal and balance the chakras. If this was helpful for you, we hope you'll become a part of our community and subscribe. Um, we love gathering like minds here at the Wholeness Network and these wholeness hacks are um, just one way we can give back to the community and start connecting like-minded individuals. So please leave a comment in the comments below and um, hit that little bell by the subscribe button if you'd like to get um, notified every time we update a new video. Thanks so much. Have a great and blessed day. <laughs>